in this video, we're going to take a look at exporting that video we just recorded in our last one. Okay, so I, here you see I have my uh, video that I just recorded in my timeline. Um, I'm not going to do any edits right now. I just want to get straight to how to export so we can share this video with our audience. I'm going to go over here on the far right corner and I can click on finish. It says set a title for your export. So it gives you a very generic title here. I'm just going to call it Wii Video Demo. And I'm going to click on set. And now you see I can edit my title again if I want to over here. I can export just the video with audio. So that's pretty much what I want. Or I could do audio only. Now the cool thing about audio only is if you did this or a student did this, basically this is what you need if you're doing a podcast, which is only audio. I'm going to select video with audio. I'm going to select my resolution. So here my resolution, I'm just going to put as HD. Uh, it just looks better when you have a higher resolution. And then I can choose from different destinations. So your destinations might look a little bit different than what I have here. The default is always to have this Wii video icon loaded. This way, when you export it, it will give you a Wii video link that you can share. You can put this on Google Classroom. You can put it on Seesaw, on Hapara, anything that you want to do. If you want to save the file, which is a great uh, feature of Wii Video, you can click and select Google Drive. If you have a YouTube channel, you can have it upload directly to YouTube as well. Finally, the last option we have here is make this video public. Um, if you're uploading it to YouTube, I would definitely make this private at first and then go to YouTube and make it um, unlisted on YouTube. But if you are just putting it on Google Drive or even the Wii video link public is okay. It's not that it's like searchable, but it's more so that anyone can have access to it. And especially if you're in a remote learning environment, you probably want it public so that, you know, you make sure that no matter what device that your students are using, that they can be able to access it properly without having some crazy uh, thing like, oh, I forgot I had to log in, etc. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that Wii video um, option is selected. I'm going to also put on Google Drive. Uh, this will be saved in a Wii video folder. So if you do this, uh, just go ahead and search your Google Drive for Wii video. You'll find the folder and then all your exports will be there. You can also um, find your exports on Wii video by looking over at the top. It'll say exports or possibly videos um, at the top for, your, um, for you when you are signed in. Now I'm going to click on export. Now, depending on how complex your video is, it may take longer uh, for it to fully export. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to let this run and we're going to wait to see um, what happens. Now, while this is exporting, you definitely can do other things. You can go uh, check your email. You can open up different tabs if you need to. Um, you know, this is all happening in the back end. This is happening all on Wii video side. Awesome. Now our video has been fully exported. So from here, I can either watch my exported video. I can also go ahead and share my export using this Wii video link. This is an important link because this is the link that you're going to be using when you're sharing it out on the different platforms. I can share it also on Facebook, Twitter. I can get a, another share link, uh, which is the same link that you saw earlier here. I can just say copy the clipboard. I can even embed it if I have a Google site or if I want to put on my uh, Blackboard uh, school wires page. I'm going to go ahead and close this because I already have the link or I can also download it. So that's another great thing. We love Wii Video because you always have full control of your content. You can download the video and then let's say Wii Video goes away at some point, you will always have the videos that you had made. That's it. If you have any other questions about exporting your projects or exporting your videos in Wii Video, uh, please reach out to us and um, we can't wait to see what you create.